All right, so let's talk about the Miniature Monday Zombie Apocalypse themed kit this month. Uh, so this was for the month of October mostly. And as usual, um, it comes with miniatures and paints. This month is a little bit different because it comes with uh, the eight paints as usual, but then it comes with one metal miniature, one hero miniature, and then a group of five zombie miniatures. And then here you can see the case opened up. We have the eight paints along the side. Uh, this month I decided to play with the case a little bit to see if I could get it so that the paints and the miniatures and stuff don't fall around the, the case. Um, when I receive them shipped, all the paints are laying on the bottom and the miniatures are usually laying on the bottom too. So I was trying to figure out what it'd take to prevent that from happening. And what I found is if I put a piece of foam in the top and the bottom, and then I printed a little cover for the blister pack that the miniatures come in and then a little brush holder it seemed to solve a lot of the problems if you pick up the case and just shake it usually it's not a problem the paints don't move around the miniatures don't come out so what i had to do was actually roll it down the stairs and that would make it arrive and how it was arriving when it was shipping so after these modifications i found that all the paints stayed put, all the miniatures stayed put, and it's just a couple of little 3D printed pieces. Um, there you can see the brush holder that needs to be redesigned a little bit. It's not quite wide enough for brushes. Um, and originally I glued it in, then I couldn't get the brush out, so I popped the glue off, and now you just pop it up and shake it in your hand to get the brush out. And so that really, these pieces really kind of improved the case for me. Um, Instead of the, the foam inserts would hold things pretty well, or at least it'd hold the paints pretty well, the miniatures would still kind of float around. But now with that plastic insert glued in, a little extra foam and a cover on the uh, miniature blister pack, everything stays where it belongs. So here we have the first four paints that come in the kit, Maiden Flesh, Sepia Wash, Bugbear Fur, and Vampiric Shadow. And then the other four colors are Orange Brown, Ancient Bark, Wyvern Letter, Leather, and Basic Dirt. And then I'll bring up a um, picture that I took of each color over a black primer, a gray primer, and a white primer, and tried to spread it out a little bit so you can get an idea of what the colors look like. And then, of course, as usual, we wrap up with the value. Um, so we see the total value this month is $85 with the miniatures, the paint, the paint carrying case, which is on their site for $19.99. And then, of course, we have the painting instruction from Josh. So he does have a Patreon that you can join and um, get small group lessons pretty much, you know, with all his other Patreons on how to paint miniatures. So we include that at about $20 a month value. So the total value of the kit is $85.48. And as it's going through the miniatures here, of course, we had our two hero, hero miniatures, and then when we go back to full screen here, we'll wrap up with the five zombies on the uh, front view, and then the back, back view. So thanks for watching, and if you like the video, please like and subscribe.